It's Gina, Art of Skin Care, and I did not announce a live today, but I miss you guys, so I didn't want to not do a live. So in case any of you happen to come on today and find me here, I'm here. I'm just going to do a short live for you. I'm going to share with you my foundation, my summer foundation, what I like to use on my skin for summer protection and foundation and um, we'll see if any of you normally you guys watch from my <clears throat> my email it comes out to let you know i'm here but i'm just going impromptu today i'm um you know i've had covid and it's been a grueling getting over it a lot of relapsing and stuff and i have a covid buddy her name is elowen and she's seven years old she's my granddaughter we got it at the same time and we're both going through the same thing of being three weeks out and still having a lot of symptoms and just not feeling great. So she and I are home together this week. And, um, but I wanted to come on with you guys and just do a little something because I, I hate missing it. I hate not getting together with you guys and I couldn't do it. So I just went and grabbed some stuff and thought that I would share with you. I just washed my face for a second time today because I wanted to be able to show you uh, my foundation that I like to do for summertime. And so my considerations for foundation is I don't want to look like I'm wearing foundation. I want my skin to just look clean and fresh. And then, but I also want lots of protection. I get dark spots on my cheeks. I get dark spots around my neck. So I'm using lots of good summer sun protection and so what i'm going to show you today is what i do when i'm really going to be out in the sun quite a bit and i want to put on some extra layers so you don't have to put quite this many layers but this will give you an idea of what i like to do so i just put on a moisturizer um, i just grabbed my is clinical reparative moisture emulsion i really like this as my quick go-to it's got those extreme enzymes in it i'm all about extreme enzymes at this time of year because they really provide that antioxidant bubble wrap protection to really protect your DNA and prevent um, the dimers um, and different DNA damage that can lead to premature aging and even to skin cancer. So I threw that on as a start. Next thing I'm grabbing here is my Extreme Protect. And this is where the variable is. If I'm gonna be going outdoors, I'm gonna put on a layer of Extreme Protect. If I'm not really gonna be going outdoors, it's an indoor type of day, or I'm just gonna be in the office at work, I will usually just do the Sorella, see if you guys can see that, Sorella's Dew Drops. But because I wanna show you the full enchilada today of my protection, I'm going to go ahead and put on the Extreme Protect first. And let's get that in. I have both, I have either the white or I have the beige. I'm just gonna put on the beige for you today. <clears throat> I've got about a finger load. One stripe on the finger is usually enough because I'm layering. So I'm using the beige tone. The beige tone is nice for me in the summertime. It just gives me a little more color, blends my dark pigmentation a little better. So I've got one layer of that, face and neck. And now what I'm do is I'm going to grab the dew drops. Dew drops you need to shake. So I'm gonna shake them really well. And I'm gonna do one pump. I just knocked a bunch of stuff down. I'm gonna do one pump of dew drops. And again, I'm just gonna use my hands because I'm totally impromptu. This also can be used with a brush. But I'm just, and even the foundation I'm gonna use, you can do with a brush, but I'm just gonna do show you my quickie summer protection beauty routine <laughs> so now i've got on my dew drops my skin has a nice dewy complexion now i'm going to grab and let me see where i put it it's a red right here somewhere i piled up a bunch of stuff next to the camera here and one thing that I thought I grabbed, but I might have set it down somewhere in my racing around here. I'm grabbing Illuminaire. So my wintertime color is Portofino Porcelain. 
I could actually use Florentine Fair at this time of year, but I just wanted to show you that you can, it blends so well that I, I haven't even switched up this year to the Florentine Fair. <clears throat> this one's the moisturizing finish. I also like the mattifying finish if you're more in a, in a more humid environment. I also, this summer, and I've been, that's why I tried to grab it. Let me look one more place and see if I can find it real quick. No, I dropped it somewhere in my grab rings, but I also use the concealing formula. And I've been using the, the concealing formula a lot this summer. Just gives me a little bit more coverage through here as far as sun protection goes. Um, this is rated at 21. So everything that I put on so far, my um, Is Clinical was rated a 40. Then my Dew Drops is rated 50. Check with my glasses. I'll tell you for sure. 50, yep. And then, yes, 20. And then the Illuminaire is a 20. So when you use a Luminaire, the thing about this type of foundation is don't apply it all over your entire face. There are some people that do that, and if you like a heavier look, you can certainly do that. But what I do for summer is I want a little bit of my freckles to show through. I want a little bit of my natural color to come through. I don't, I want that really sun glowy natural look. So what I do is I grab about that much of uh, whichever formula you're gonna use. It's like a small piece size amount. Put it on my fingers like this and then i'm going to go like this and pat it just in this area where i want my coverage so this is going to diminish the redness around my nose and the pores i have larger pore size on the side of my nose so i just lay this right down in those pores and then my cheeks are where i get the most hyperpigmentation so i'm just taking it across this area and then whatever little bit of leftovers on my fingers i'll just use it here and there in other places, but I really like this finish. I think that if you guys give it a try, you will really like it too. So I really just wanted to come on today and show you that. I did a three step. Oftentimes though, I will just put on my dew drops if I'm staying indoors and working all day, I'm just gonna put on my dew drops and then I'm gonna put this Illuminaire on top of it, just like this. And this, even on my filming days, this is all I do for foundation for you guys. So it gives my skin that really nice, dewy, fresh, natural look. Um, people who see me, you know, around town or <clears throat> off camera, they'll say, you, your skin looks great and you don't even look like, do you even wear foundation? Do you even wear makeup? And that's the beauty of this Illuminaire foundation if you use it properly. Um, pr play with it, practice the most popular mishap that happens with the Illuminaire foundation is that you put on too much and that you put it on all over. So if I were to feel like, oh, I just want a little bit more coverage, I would do the same thing again. I would just get a little bit more again and you could do one side of your face at a time. I've got it here. I might just do little dots and then blend. You always wanna do it right after you've applied your other sunscreen or moisturizer so you have that nice slip but you can see it's just a really nice natural finish and I don't apply it just everywhere. I just apply it where I want that little extra bit of polish on my skin and it's beautiful. And like I said, you rather than put it on heavy in the beginning, use just a little bit, put on your dots, blend them down. And then if you feel like, oh, I want just a little bit more, just take a little bit more add that on top of it, blend it down, and so you just layer it. And that gives you that really beautiful, nice finish. Now this week at Artist Skin Care, our special for the week um, is the body category. I love the body category and I really wanted to come on and give you guys a bigger demonstration on body, but I will spend some time over the next few weeks doing some different body things for you guys. But um, since we have double points, today through Thursday on body, I did wanna just pull a few of my body favorites out to show you guys. So one of the things I can't live without is Rhonda Allison's bamboo scrub. Uh, body scrubs are pretty amazing. Um, a lot of people really love 
those sugar scrubs or a salt scrub on the body. The problem I have with those is there's a lot of oil in those. And when you put them on, it gets oil all over the bottom of your tub It become, or your shower. It becomes slippery. It's hard to get off. It's really a nuisance. What I love about this scrub is that it has no oil in it. So you put it on and it doesn't take very much, a nickel size amount, and it leaves your skin just baby soft. So it's super important as we age is to increase that exfoliation everywhere, right? We do it for our face. We've also got to do that for our bodies. So when you use this body scrub, you get your skin wet, then you get out, um, turn the water off so your skin is just all damp, and then you get about a nickel size amount and scrub it all over your body and then turn the water on and rinse and you will be amazed. Your skin just feels silky soft and then it's perfectly primed to receive some good nutrients. So my quick go-to for body, I hope I grabbed that. That must be what I did. I left a little pile of things somewhere. I did. So I left it somewhere else, but I'll tell you what it is. I do this body scrub, then I get out and I spritz, and I have two different spritzes that I like to use. One of them is that is clinical, it's a body youth serum, and I really like that for my arms and those places where I tend to get sun damage. It's got those extreme enzymes in it, so it's really gonna help protect the skin on the body, the chest, the arms. And then the other spray that I really love is from Rhonda Allison, and it is the peptide spritz. And that is a detox spritz and it really smooths out the skin. Use it on your belly, on your legs, anywhere where you have cellulite or you have some loose skin. I love that peptide spritz. So I'm spritzing with the Is Clinical on my arms. Then I'm doing the other, the Rhonda Allison spritz on my belly, on my thighs and my buttocks where I want to smooth that skin out and detoxify. And then your next step is, of course, a moisturizer. We have a, a bunch of really nice body moisturizers. So we have the Farmhouse Fresh Moon Dips. We have the Neogenesis Body Moisturizer. We have the Bions um, Naturally Soft, which is an acne safe um, moisturizer. I'm pretty sure actually the, the Neogenesis Body Moisturizer, I think is also acne safe. Um, but what I generally do um, most days is I'm gonna put on that spritz on my body and then I'm gonna grab the white one of the Extreme Protect. That's like a one-two step, a one-two punch that really keeps your skin protected during the day. If it's in the evening, I will, you know, shower, I might use my body scrub, and then I'm gonna put on either my Moon Dip or my Neogenesis body moisturizer. I'm gonna use those kind of things, but during the day, I really want that DNA protection on my skin. My arms really, I've really been rehabilitating my arms because they look a lot older than my face. So, I put on the Is Clinical Body Serum, spray that on, and then I'm putting on as a moisturizer, I'm just using the Extreme Protect, which also has Extreme Enzymes, and I'm using that as my moisturizer on my arms, because, and my back of my hands, because I really want that extra protection. Being in California, just going to the car and driving, we get so much sun here so much sun damage. So that is my kind of one-two punch for, for the daytime on my body. Now, if I've had a little bit too much sun, a product I've been enjoying, or even if I've just been out, like when I was in Hawaii and I was out in the sun every day, I loved rinsing off and putting on Farmhouse Fresh. It's called Awesome Relief. This is a mousse. So it's almost like a gel hydrator but it really puts that water moisture back into your skin that you lose when you are out in the sun because that sun and the heat, the dryness just sucks all the water out of your skin. This mousse puts that water back in and it also calms the skin. So really love this mousse. Now, two other things that I grab that I can't live without at Art of Skincare. I love the Bion's Glycolic 20% cream. I use this on my heels of my feet. I'm going to put some on as I'm talking to you guys. Just a little bit goes a long way. This glycolic cream, you just use it at nighttime on your feet. If your feet are in really bad shape, you can put it on in the daytime too, and then put your socks and shoes on. 
Um, but this really helps break down that dry, callousy skin on your heels. And then we sell a Puma Stone. So you could use this every day for a week, then soak yourself in a bathtub and use that Puma Stone and you'll just see the skin rub off. Now, I like to go and get um, pedicures once a month. And so I'll do this the week before I go in for my pedicure. And so when she's doing my pedicure, that skin just rolls off, really comes off. And I've experimented with not doing this and she has a harder time getting that skin off. When I do this, it's just, that skin's just rolling off. So this is a really handy thing to have. People also like this for stretch marks. So if you've got some stretch marks on your thighs, legs, belly, anywhere, this can help um, with stretch marks. You can use it at nighttime really fabulous. Now, once you've gotten rid of all that callousy skin on your heels, what you want to use every day to kind of maintain your heels and keep them soft is from Farmhouse Fresh. This is Honey Heel Glaze and it's an enzyme. So if you have a lot of calluses on your heels, this isn't going to get it. You've got to use something strong first to break all that down. And then when you want a maintenance product to keep your heels looking good every day and not dry and cracky, I have to smell this. I always wish I could have you guys smell things. This stuff smells so good. It comes with a little brush. You just brush it on your heels every day and those enzymes digest away those dull, dry, dead skin cells. So it really helps keep your feet in that perfect condition. So those are, you know, just running around my bathroom really quick and grabbing my very favorite things. And, you know, off the top of my head, I would also tell you for double points, check out Farmhouse Fresh body washes and the Farmhouse Fresh bar soaps. Uh, we can't live with those without those at our house as well. So this is a good time to stock up on those kind of things, especially if you have more than one bathroom in your house and you need a few different bars of soap or body soap. Those are really wonderful. Um, okay, two more things. Um, a couple more things. Botnia. The Botnia scrub is amazing. So it's different than the bamboo one that I showed you guys, but it's a ritual that you can do. And what you do is you lay out a towel next to your bathtub you get the botnia scrub and you scrub all over with it. And so it's gonna have oil and it's gonna have that salt. And while it's on your skin, you get into a nice hot bath and you take your towel and you shake the towel into the bath. So all those salts go into the bath with you. And it's just a really wonderful experience. It's not something that I do every day, but I like to do it once a week or a couple times a month. I like to do that special ritual for myself. The Botnia Lotion that I recommend for you guys, it comes in a nice tall bottle, but it's called um, hand cream. They used to just be called lotion, body lotion, but they changed it and called it hand cream. I really like it as body lotion. It's a wonderful body lotion and it's acne safe. So this is a good time to try out that product as well. They have a body cream that comes in a tub and you dip your hands in, or they have the lotion with the pump. And I love the lotion with the pump really amazing great stuff um <clears throat> of course you guys have probably seen my husband's videos from the farmhouse fresh he loves farmhouse fresh moon dips <clears throat> they come in several different scents and varieties so you can experiment and see which one of those you like best uh, they are really lovely and that's an anti-aging body cream that just feels rich and lovely on the skin and smells really nice now if you want something for your body has no scent at all then go with Neogenesis Body Cream. The Neogenesis Body Cream's got some of those good stem cells in there, stem cell cytokines, and then it also has no scent in it. So for those of you that just like, no, no scent, you'll really like that one. I often mix things together in my hands. <clears throat> you guys will see an email coming out this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see an email coming out this week with a little bit of my cocktailing I like to do. So you'll see that I like to put a squirt of one of my spritzes that I talked about earlier. Then I put a squirt of Neogenesis body cream in there. And then they'll sometimes even take a squirt of the Extreme Protect in my hands. And then I put it all on. Because I'm often, I take the time with my face. But by the time you get to your body, right, you're like, come on, let's get this done. Let's get going. I just start mixing all that stuff in my hand and then rub it on and that works really well. So watch for that video and that'll share some of my recipes with you. 
In a couple weeks, I'm gonna be doing a video for you guys on body cocktails and even face cocktails, but it's gonna be using the Lemieux diffuser. And with the diffuser, you can put different cocktails in there. So I've designed different cocktails that I like to use for sunburn or cellulite and things like that. And they go really well with the other products that I've talked about today. And those will be, um, we'll be talking about those I think in two weeks. So that will be really fun. So I usually take questions, but I'm just on my phone today and I've never been able to figure out how to see the questions when I'm on my phone. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to look now, chat options. All messages are visible. Um, oh, I see a few there. Bella, thank you. And it looks like we don't have too many. That's good because it's hard for me to do, message, uh, do our live chat that we like to do when I am on just my cell phone and we're not using the full setup that Ben sets up for us. So I'm glad that some of you tuned in and found us here today. I know some of you will tune in tonight who like to tune in in the evening after work to our Tuesday lives. Um, this is super impromptu. Just wanted to come on and share some of my my good ideas. There's Celine. <laughs> <laughs> Celine just stopped in. I made lunch for everybody today since I'm at home. So I'm gonna go down now and serve them up a nice big salad. But just wanted to share that. I hope you find the makeup tips helpful and, and that you try some of those body things. And in the meantime, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next week.